what I really liked about Adams was like the, the focus that that was given to each individual student and just have teachers that knew how to push you along and, and knowing what what buttons to make you kind of excel. You know, it was just that having teachers like be able to have the time to take take a little focus and, and put it on you. The most important thing is that I stuck with it. You know, I, I always talk to artists that were successful. When I, when I left here, I went down to Santa Fe, New Mexico and worked worked at Shadoni Foundry, which is uh, one of the country's foremost fine art casting foundries. So I had the pleasure of being engaged with professionals in the art world that are extremely successful. And I'd always prod them for questions and, you know, how do you, how do you get there? How do you get there? And, you know, and then I just kind of actively started pursuing a, a serious mural career and, and large-scale public art uh, seemed to be a great venue. Like I'm only, what, seven years removed, um, so it's important to see like, oh, here's someone that actually stayed with it and, and now they get to paint for a living every day. It, it's gonna, it'll give me a chance to tell these guys some of the things that I would have loved to, to have heard at that time. And now, like I know some concrete, like things you can do to be successful and I'm excited to get the chance to share those. You know, as far as painting goes, I was a bit of an oil snob um, for a long time, and one of my favorite professors, uh, Gene Schilling, you know, is an acrylic acrylic man. And, and later, later in my mural career, you know, having to be be forced into the acrylic arena, like all these little lessons keep coming back. You know, everything I kind of maybe fought against, you know, during that time is, you know, those little lessons are still there. And it's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you told me that. It's still coming back. I'm still getting transmissions from those days that are very applicable. So. For me, it's a lot of technical stuff that, that he imparted on me in, at the time, and whether I got it then or not, it definitely is, a, it all rings true now in my own work. You know, sometimes I'll stumble on these things on my own, and then I'll go, oh, wait a minute, someone told me this before, and it's always, it always comes back to old Gene, you know? Our relationship, that mentor relationship is, I, I, I value it very highly, and um, we'll continue to. And, and he and I probably have a really bright future together, so we have lots of ideas cooking how to get back together and, and work together again, so I'm excited about that.